Virgin Islands continues to work on financial plans to help put funds into the GERS, the government's retirement system. And the timing is critical, says Governor Bryan, as his team works with the VI legislature to have funding in place by October 1st. U.S. VI News' Ellie Bourne-Vanek met one-on-one -on -one with the governor, who explains how this plan can help retirees now and in the future. Carefully spaced social distancing, I met exclusively with Governor Albert Bryan Jr. along with members of his financial team to understand their proposed financial plans when it comes to GERS. And funding has to happen soon, says Governor Bryan, or retirees will face a greatly reduced income in just a few months. The government retirees are facing a 42% reduction in, in their income come January, and no one else has proposed in any real way to put money into the coffers of the GRS. We propose to. Um, we don't have any problem taking criticism, but if, if you're not, uh, if you don't have a better idea, then support this one. The plan to lower the government's debt and create more revenue streams and help GERS has been described as complex, but it's compared to the process of refinancing your home. The significant benefit of this transaction is that similar to the way a family would go to the bank and refinance their home and take get some money to take out to, to, for expenses to improve the house or other debt. This transaction, similar to that, creates liquidity in the government for other projects that need to be attended to. For example, let's say you buy a house and originally get financing for it. And for years you make payments as well as get married. But later on, your credit gets bad. And while you can't take out a loan, your spouse can. With your spouse taking out the loan, this lowers the debt on the house from 6% to 3%. So the wife takes off and pays, the, pays down on a 6% mortgage that you had before, now at 3%. So your annual payments become less, which is where this new revenue stream is created from. This is why the government of the Virgin Islands has proposed creating what's called a special purpose vehicle or separate entity to take on the debt, which they say would lower the government's debt and create savings to be used for GERS or where directed by the legislature. The governor's financial team says if this special purpose vehicle or entity were to default in payments, it would not affect the government of the Virgin Islands. The special purpose vehicle cannot issue debt unless it's approved by the legislature. People keep saying that this special purpose vehicle is not going to be under the control of the Virgin Islands government. The legislation creates it. The legislation guides it. The legislation appoints the board, determines how much members are in it. So in effect, it's no different than WICO, uh, PFA, WAPA, or any other entity except for the fact that it has an isolated stream of money that can be dedicated to bond repayment, which will give us a better bond rating and thus a less interest rate for our debt. If these plans are approved, what does this mean? The governor hopes that this, along with the cannabis legislation, will create $68 million in new revenue. And each year, this will assist with the deficit with GERS. There are more ways the governor says that this can create more funding for the government. We'll have more on that plus information on the VI Legislature's special session on how to move forward with these plans. In St. Thomas, Ali Bornvenak, USBI News.